Hi, I'm Mary Collins, Fire Manager on Newford Suckler Demonstration Farm in Athenoy. Today we are going to give you a brief update on our breeding season so far on this early maturing herd. Just as the Newford Farm calving season came to an end, the 2020 breeding season began on the 27th of April. The breeding season will last for 10 weeks and 100% AI will be used. There are 92 cows for breeding in the herd this year. All cows have received their mineral bowls four weeks ago, along with their tails being clipped to make AI easier. Cows are already showing heat at the beginning of April and their tag numbers are recorded daily as part of the routine herding. The number of cows showing heat has been encouraged by the excellent weather and ground conditions. The majority of Newford cows are in an ideal body condition score of 2.5 to 3 for breeding. In the first week alone, there was 43 cows AI, and that was 47% of the herd. Heat detection is the key to a successful outcome when using AI. To aid with this, two techniques are used in the farm, tail painting and vasectomized bulls. Tail painting the cows shows us when cows are coming into heat. This is a very cheap and effective heat detection method and is topped up once or twice during the breeding season. Cows are tail painted yellow for the first round, followed by red, blue, green, and as each cow is AI'd, the next color is put on. We also use two vasectomized Frisian bulls during the breeding season which have proven to be very successful. Newford Farm prefers the teaser bulls to be Frisian because they are more active within the herd and lighter, weighing roughly 375 kilos. We purchased two vasectomized bulls ready to go and kept them in quarantine for three weeks before letting them out into two groups of cows. Since coming onto the farm, each teaser bull has been fitted with a nose ring by the vet. A chin bull harness with paint is fitted to each bull. The teasers were let out with the cows three days before the start of the breeding season. Once a day AI has been successfully used in Newford Farm since 2016. This means that if a cow was AI'd in the morning and was still showing signs of heat in the evening, she would get another straw the following morning. The cows are checked at least four to five times daily for signs of heat. The marked cows are brought into the yard by, for AI at 12 noon each day for the AI technician. The cows are dotted and with the help of electric reels, a paddock system and a farm roadway, this is done quickly each morning without too much stress to man or beast. Newford Farm selects its terminal bulls for breeding from the active bull list on the ICBF website. The criteria takes into account of the new calving difficulty rating. Selecting these sires is a very important job and this selection is done in a month advance before the breeding season. These are key decisions as the progeny of these bulls will be finished on the farm. So it is critically important that the calves are easily calved, have good growth weights, perform well of grass, have good shape and conformation along with a good kill out percentage. This is why Ireland, the farm manager, spends a number of evenings looking over the ICBF list of terminal sires. There is a very simple filter function on the list of ICBF AI bulls that allows the farmers to identify bulls with traits that are desired. The new for farm 2020 breeding season criteria is as follows. Five star terminal index bulls within and across breeds. Less than 7.4% cabin difficulty for strong mature beef cows less than 5% calving difficulty for young beef cows, less than 7% for the first calvers, beef heifers, greater than 70% reliability on the calving difficult index, greater than two score on confirmation, greater than 35 kilo predicted carcass weight for the mature cows, and greater than 25 kilo predicted carcass weight for the young cows. Based on this criteria, the following bulls will be used on the Newford Farm breeding season 2020. For further information, follow us on www.newfordsubflerbeef.ie.